my dear friends. It is Friday, November 20th, and I want to start off the vlog by saying you're doing a good job. <laughs> you're doing a really good job. It's 2.30 in the afternoon. I'm just like, I just finished. You can tell my hair is still wet. Just finished getting ready. Some days just, you know, move a little bit slower than others, and that is perfectly fine. <laughs> I've got a lot of stuff that I need to do today, but I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna take my time because there's always going to be something to do. Always. There's always going to be something to do. So there's no reason to stress about the fact that I woke up at 10 o'clock today. <laughs> I, I worked out, like I had a really good workout. It's actually one of the longer workouts I've done in a while. So I have a book order that is going to Canada. Really, really cool, a signed book order that I'm gonna go ahead and ship or like package up and get ready to ship. And then I told myself that instead of getting all wrapped up in my to-do list. I'm just gonna kind of go where the day takes me. I have like a couple errands, fun errands I want to run. Oh, my God, I did an arm workout today. <laughs> I was just holding that up with my left arm. <gasps> Ow, okay. I have a couple fun errands I wanna run today. I am like slaying NaNoWriMo. I think this is probably the best NaNoWriMo I have ever had. So I'm on track with my word count and even a little bit ahead. So I'll show you the calendar later on. But yeah, I wanted to just like go to TJ Maxx and I'm like really craving Chipotle and they're finally opening one up by my house, but it's not open yet. So there's just some stuff, you know, stuff I wanna do. I've been doing a lot of computer work and emails and administrative crap the past few days. And I just told myself today, I woke up and I was like, I'm not having it. I'm not doing any of that today all that crap can wait. Like it's just, it's not, I'm not doing it. So also, once again, I'm filming when the moon is in Aquarius. So always a good time. But let's get out of the bathroom because this is weird. <laughs> it's weird. And we are going to head into my office, package up a book. I've got to fill out a customs form and that's when I actually have to take to the post office so seeing as it's 2.40 p.m., I might actually be able to, to drop that off in time. Here we go. Oh look, she made her bed this morning. Hi. We went on a stroll, didn't we? We, oh wow, okay. You make the best faces. You make the best faces ever. Are you gonna growl at me like you did the other day? <laughs> oh, there she goes. Okay, that was fun. I love you. I love you. Yes, oh. Um, maybe I could turn on a light or two. Jeez, Kristen, like living in the darkness. Oh, it's a little foggier out. Wow, I really need to cut. <laughs> that what is that <laughs> oh I need to trim I need to trim the bushes oh hey there's the mail hey so I my hair looks so flat right now dry faster um, I need to log on to Wix and check out oh my gosh maybe I just need to take a moment Oh, I have something that's out that you guys can't see yet. Ooh, that was a good catch. Do we like how close this is to my face? Okay, we're gonna put that away so that you guys can't see it. Mwahaha, <laughs> I wonder what it is. You will find out, you will find out very soon. We are getting to that point in my YouTube. <laughs> yep. Oh my gosh, stay put. We are, if you're wondering what's going on, the viewfinder is just like falling back. So I can't see myself or the, the frame. We're getting to that point in my YouTube journey where I need to get a new camera. Like, and I'll probably get the exact same one, but this one has just been through, oh, she's been through so much. She's been through so much travel, international travel. 
She's fallen a lot. She's taken a lot of really bad, really bad spills. This is taking so long. I would just like to pull this order up, please. Good, I'm connected to the internet. That's great. Um, last night, the power went out. So if you follow me on Instagram, which I'll leave it right here, um, I always, I don't know, capture those moments because they're just, they're just so funny. But I think I was super reliant on technology and the internet and like my television yesterday that that was the universe saying like, unplug and read a book or at the very least like type on your computer and not be able to access the internet. Well, hello. <sighs> Apparently I haven't been near my phone because I have a lot of unread text messages, but I'm not doing that right now. I'm busy. I got boundaries, people. I got, I got stuff I, I need to do. Do we see, okay, this says four minutes. It has taken me four minutes to turn my computer back on. Granted, the power <laughs> went out last night, so I had to like completely restart it. Things just take so much longer than what you see on the vlog. I hope I hope you know that. I hope you know that like my editing skills are dope, you know, so it looks like everything's happening really fast, but really, this like it takes hours. These things take hours to do. Three new orders. Wait, what? <laughs> That's great, but I thought I only had one. All right, we are shipping the Alpha Drive and Shadow Crown and Renegade Crew. Let's go to the bookshelf, shall we? By the way, I did order ugh, more copies. There's the Alpha Drive. More copies of my books, not many. We got Shadow Crown, ugh, and we have this is really hard to do one-handed and renegade crew all right so these little babies are going to Canada but like I was saying I do have some paperback copies so you can go to kristenmartinbooks.com slash buy dash books and I'll leave that link in the description box below for you if you want to place an order for some autographed copies of my books. And also that reminds me, there is a massive, I'm doing like a massive ebook sale for Black Friday and Cyber Monday. And since this video is going live on Tuesday, November 24th, that sale has started today. So it's a good thing I just looked at my day planner. So for that ebook sale, you can get all eight crazy to say I have eight books, all eight of my eBooks for just $18. So you can get the Alpha Drive trilogy, that complete trilogy for $4. Both of my personal development books, Be Your Own Hashtag Goals and Soul Flow for $4 total. So those are $1.99 each. And the Shadow Crown series, what's available of it right now, which it's a six book series, but there are three books out, Shadow Crown, Renegade Crew, and Jaded Spring. You get all three of those eBooks for $10. So that ebook sale is going on today through December 1st. So that takes us through Black Friday, through Cyber Monday. It is only valid for the US and the UK. And I say this every year I do a sale like this. <laughs> I wish that I could make this sale available everywhere, but alas, I cannot because KDP has some weird restrictions and for some reason I can only do this type of sale for the US and the UK. So. I'm sorry, I apologize for not being able to make it like a worldwide thing and hopefully cross our fingers in the future, that is an option that they will give us. And another Black Friday Cyber Monday sale that is so worth mentioning is the Writer's Craft 2.0 stack. So my story mind mapping workshop is a part of this Writer's Craft stack. It's the first time I've ever done something like this before. And you guys, I cannot even begin to tell you how many resources are in this stack, including my story mind mapping workshop. It is quite possibly the best collection of writing resources that has ever been put together. The Writer's Craft 2.0 Super Stack is a hand curated collection with over $3,300 worth. $3,300 worth of premium tools, training, and resources for writers for only $49. Writers, authors, storytellers, story crafters, this is, this bundle is everything that you need. So this sale is also going on from November 24th to December 1st. You can find the link in the description box below 
$3,300 worth of premium training, valuable content for just 49 bucks. It is something you do not want to miss. Again, you can find that link for the Writer's Craft 2.0 Super Stack in the description box below. Alrighty, I have got less. <laughs> this is me trying to get my life together. <laughs> Going really well. You stay there. <sighs> I've got less than an hour until the post office closes. I need to set you down because you like this random headboard. It's great. Actually, I'm not gonna set you down because I can do it all. See, look at the, look at the double chin. It's looking real, real good. <laughs> Okay, I have less than an hour until the post office closes and the clouds look like they don't know. Like they kind of want to rain, but they're not really sure. So what I'm trying to say is wish me luck. Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes. So real quick, I just have to say that if my soul had a song, it would be Current by Foria, P-H-O-R-I-A. Just wait until you get to about a minute and 44 into that song. Oh, the violin and the piano, like it makes me cry every time and my soul just like, oh, I feel like I come out of my body when I hear that song. I listen to it probably at least four or five times a day. It is that good. Driving through days and nights, won't stop for traffic. I just finished shopping at TJ Maxx. Look at that sunset. That is beautiful. It's one of the things I love about Texas. So pretty. So I am still struggling with the fact that it is getting dark at 5.30. <laughs> because I walked outside, like I walked out of TJ Maxx and I was like, what's happening? And also like, why am I out right now? I'm supposed to be home. It's dark outside. When it's dark outside, you're supposed to be at home. It is now 7.40. I can't even read that. Nope, 7.48. I'm like squinting. Um, and I haven't written any words today, which is totally fine because I found that at the end of NaNoWriMo, which is where we're at right now, my writing sessions, like just single sessions, are a lot more lucrative in terms of word count. So, you know, when I start out, it's kind of like I'm writing maybe like 600 to 800 words a session, and now I'm closer to like 1400 to 1800 words a session. And that's just because like it's become a habit. I've written every single day. I think there's only one day, maybe two, two days that I didn't write, but I caught up the next day. So I will be writing more this evening and I'll get a little B-roll of that. Probably sitting on the couch, maybe in bed. I don't know. But real quick, I wanna give a shout out to Rebecca Sampson because she sent this to my PO box. Very graciously actually sent it twice because they lost the first copy. So then she sent it to me again, which was so sweet of her. And her book is called Stronger Now, How to Thrive in Any Circumstance and Become Unstoppable, which I really think we all need we all need a little bit of that in 2020, am I right? <laughs> so, support indie authors, especially over Black Friday, Cyber Monday, support small businesses, support your indie authors. And that also reminds me, <laughs> speaking of indie authors, today is the last day to sign up for my signature coaching program for writers called Valiance. And let me just tell you, this is not your average program where I just threw together theories, like theoretical things and things that might work. 
No, this is proven. This is what I have used over the past five years. And still to this day, I go back and reference all the modules in Valiance every time I'm about to publish a book or launch a book because I don't, I don't want to miss a step. And it is so detailed. There are still things like, there's so much that goes into the book creation process that it's really easy to forget small things like with formatting or embedding your fonts, like how to do that. Like just, it's little stuff that you don't realize it starts to add up and compound when you do something once and then you don't have that guidebook. You don't have that roadmap in front of you. And that's exactly why I created Valiance for you because I know that, I mean, if you've been watching my journey for a while, past five years, right? You know that I have had success as a self-published author. And so I wanted to create a program to help other creative souls, other writers to do that same thing and give them a very streamlined, very simple yet detailed, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like where you won't have any questions. It's simple. It's broken down. If you've watched my videos for a while, then I mean, besides this one, I was a little bit all over the place in this one, but especially when we're talking about a specific, like a tutorial or like storyboarding or something along those lines, if you have taken my story mind mapping workshop or you've enrolled in Write 50K in 30 Days, that e-course, you know that it's detailed, but it's also very cut and dry. And again, streamlined, that's the best word that I can think of to use. So that's what Valiance is. It'll take you through the entire book creation process and honestly, if 2020 has shown us anything, it's that we shouldn't wait. We shouldn't wait to write the book, to publish the book, to pursue that dream of becoming an author because things can truly change at the drop of a hat. We've seen that in 2020. Again, today is the last day to enroll in Valiance and I only open it once or twice a year. So this is the last time this year that it will be open. And I don't know when it's gonna be open yet in 2021. So to learn more about that program, go to my website at kristenmartinbooks.com. You can also find that link in the description box below. Okay, doke, so let's go ahead and take a look at my calendar up on the refrigerator and see how I'm doing. I already told you guys I was doing really well with NaNoWriMo, but let's go check it out. So here we are. Look at that, look at that. Yesterday was a really good day. Again, Wednesday seems to be, this is kind of like my day off, clearly, um, but I seem to pick right back up the next day. Speaking of not waiting, yes, I'm glistening. Before I let you guys go, <laughs> um, what you're about to see is just a little something. My other first love besides writing is dance, specifically contemporary and more of a, the ballet, if you will. And um, when I hurt my ankle, that was my first concern because it was my left ankle, which is the ankle that I dance on. It's the one I do all my pirouettes, my turns. When I jump, I land on it, uh, leaping wise too. So um, I was pretty upset when that happened. So this is the first time I've actually attempted dancing and just trusted that things would be okay. Did a couple leaps, did a couple jumps, and um, I could actually do them and my ankle doesn't hurt. So, don't wait to do the things you love, even if it's on a random Friday night. Um, felt so good to dance again. And you just never know. You never know when things are gonna change. I didn't know two months ago I was gonna hurt my ankle to the point where I had a hard time walking. So I just feel grateful that I'm able to pursue my other love ever since I was a child, which is dance. So I hope you enjoy. <music>
So that is going to conclude today's vlog. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please go ahead and hit that thumbs up button as well as that subscribe button. That helps me out so much. And don't forget to check out the description box below for everything we talked about in this video. Lots of links, lots of things going on. Do not forget to shop small, support your favorite creators and artists for Black Friday and Cyber Monday. Just remember that when you support <laughs> a small business owner. There's actually someone on the other side of the computer who does a happy dance when your order comes in. That's something that I don't think many corporations can say. So just keep that in mind. I hope you guys have a wonderful Thanksgiving if you celebrate and I will see you in next week's vlog, which will be December. <gasps> Crazy, NaNoWriMo will be over. Have a great day. Love you guys. Talk to you later. Bye.